And demonstrations in support of impeachment happened all across the country today, including in Boise, where estimates of some 200 people gathered downtown, waving signs and chanting anti-Trump slogans. Our Joey Prechtel was at a demonstration, that demonstration, where a counter protest was also happening in support of the president at the same time. What was the scene like? Well, Mark, for the most part, it was actually a very peaceful protest, you know, on both sides of that. You know, now the demonstration was part of the nobody is the above the law demonstrations. And there was a also a much smaller group called the Idaho chapter MAGA girl and friends group staging a counter protest to show support for the president. Both groups lined Front Street between Capitol and 8th starting around 530. Now there was a lot of chanting, a lot of sign waving and a lot of horns being honked. And I did talk to a couple people out there tonight who are for impeachment. They told me the president should be removed because of the evidence that's been provided about his alleged crimes. But apart from that, what really stood out to them was just the size of the crowd. It makes me feel really, uh, my heart is warm on this cold night because all of these people came out and gave their time to stand out in the cold uh, to support our nation. Uh, we're all patriots and we all love our country. I'm, I'm delighted to see this many people out here. Um, I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy to hear the responses from people going by. So to talk to some of the Trump supporters, they told me they started organizing this yesterday, so their group was smaller. Now I did talk to two of their supporters about the impeachment process and what they thought about the Democrats leading the charge. Basically wasting everybody's time and money. What we would like to see is unity. We want unity, we want the left and the right to unite and come back together and, and, and just work on our country. You know, we're all here for the same reason. We want what's best for our country. This impeachment is a total sham that, um, that uh, what they have found is nothing that would uh, constitute an impeachment and, um, and that this is gonna give Trump some really great um, leverage for his uh, win for next year. Both of the groups were peaceful. I didn't see any fighting. However, I did see some name calling tonight. One thing is for sure though, this impeachment process has really divided people on both sides. As for tomorrow's vote, that's set to take place in the morning. Mark. And of course, NBC will have wall to wall coverage beginning tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. and continuing throughout the day.